as we approach the 2024 season, excitement is reaching new heights and significant changes are on the horizon. Numerous teams are undergoing massive transformations, introducing fresh faces to the grid. However, the anticipation extends beyond new additions as rumors swirl about a potential dramatic departure looming over one driver whose year has been marred by profound disappointment. In today's update, I'll delve into the grid changes for the upcoming 2024 season, providing a comprehensive overview of what to expect. A notable mid-season development occurred when AlphaTauri parted ways with rookie Nick De Vries after only 10 races. Despite the initial hype, generated by his one-race success with Williams in 2022, De Vries failed to meet expectations. The decision, albeit harsh, paved the way for Daniel Ricciardo's return, adding intrigue to the team dynamics. Another driver facing a similar disappointing trajectory this season is Logan Sargent of Williams. Currently occupying the 21st position in the 20-car championship, Sargent has consistently lagged behind his teammate Alex Albom, outqualified and outperformed in every race. Sargent's point tally is a mere fraction of Albom's 27. The precarious nature of his situation is exacerbated by the absence of a contract for the 2024 season. Despite his struggles, Logan benefits from James Vowles overseeing his development, offering a lifeline. Vowles, the team principal, has maintained a cautious approach, emphasizing a thorough evaluation at season's end. Acknowledging Sargent's recent improvements, Vowles highlighted the driver's maturation over the last four races, noting a reduction in mistakes and a gradual increase in performance. Yet, the question lingers. Has Logan Sargent done enough to secure another season and prove himself worthy of the team's trust? Vowles, speaking after qualifying in Las Vegas, expressed optimism about Sargent's progress but maintained a reserved stance, emphasizing the need for further advancements. Despite a notable seventh-place qualification in Las Vegas, Sargent finished four places behind Albom in the race, raising doubts about his long-term prospects. Vowles's perspective remains unchanged, emphasizing a decision at the end of the year. While acknowledging Sargent's positive trajectory, Vowles demands continued progress, leaving the driver's fate hanging in the balance as the season unfolds. As the final race of the season approaches, Logan faces a limited window to showcase further progress. Had he accumulated points comparable to his teammate throughout the season, Williams would have comfortably secured a seventh place in the constructors' standings. However, a resurgent AlphaTauri now lurks just seven points behind, presenting a formidable challenge in the season finale at Abu Dhabi. A points finish in the last race, particularly if Logan outperforms his teammate, could sway. James Vowles' decision regarding his spot in the team for the next year, the potential for change extends beyond drivers as two Formula One teams are poised for complete rebranding. This entails not only new names, but also fresh title sponsors and liveries to captivate fans' anticipation. AlphaTauri, making its final appearance under its current name in Abu Dhabi, is transforming as the Italy-based team aligns with new US-based commercial partners. The rebranding, described by CEO Peter Bayer, signifies a departure from the current identity associated with the Red Bull-owned fashion brand AlphaTauri. The revamped team's name will be more generic, moving closer to the Red Bull family with two US-based sponsors securing naming rights. Bayer disclosed that the shareholders have finalized the new team identity, including changes to the company name, logo, and overall branding. This comprehensive relaunch reflects a strategic shift for the team. The association with Red Bull's sister outfit, boosted significantly by the presence of Drive to Survive star Daniel Ricciardo, has played a pivotal role in elevating visibility in the American market, leading to increased sponsorship opportunities. Bayer hinted at the difficulty of keeping the rebrand details confidential, but emphasized the forthcoming transformation. Notably, the team's newfound appeal in the United States, catalyzed by Ricardo, has been instrumental in attracting new sponsorships. This sponsorship dynamic might have played a role in the swift decision to part ways with De Vries early in his F1 career. Cash App and Visa are reportedly the brand set to pay for naming rights, with the car's visual identity centering around the colors blue and silver. Peter Bayer revealed, given our strong foothold in the US currently, we've identified two 
companies that share a mutual interest, our discussions with these significant new partners were exceptionally positive. They immediately connected. The new team's name and logo have already surfaced after the logo's registration. The moniker Racing Balls aligns more closely with the Red Bull brand than Alpha Tauri did, yet. Fan reception has been less than enthusiastic. It appears rather unimaginative, resembling more a fantasy racing team than a creation from a multi-million dollar marketing budget. It remains a mystery how Cash App and Visa will enhance this name. Feel free to share your guesses in the comments. Another team set for a name change in 2024 is Alfa Romeo. Originally a Sauber team from the late 90s, it has undergone various name changes and will be under Audi's ownership by 2026. Formerly affiliated with Red Bull, BMW, Mercedes and Petronas, Alfa Romeo assumed its current identity in 2018. Despite Alfa Romeo's departure, the team will have a new title sponsor. From 2014 onward, team principal Alessandro Alunibravi stated that the new team name would be confirmed five minutes after the FIA published the entry list, while the existing title partner, Stake, is expected to continue into 2026 with Audi's takeover the names accompanying them in 2024 and 2025 remain undisclosed. Without a leaked logo, this aspect remains shrouded in mystery. While Alpha Tauri and Alpha Romeo were confirmed to change names in 2024, speculation surrounded Aston Martin. Substantial shares in both the car manufacturer and racing team were exchanged this year. The disinterest displayed by Lawrence Stroll's son, Lance, Coupled with the ownership changes fueled rumors of the Strolls and Aston Martin potentially exiting the sport, with a sell-off to Andretti emerging as a plausible scenario. Reports suggesting Lawrence Stroll's sale of a $1 billion stake in the team triggered speculation among fans, leading some to believe that he had sold the entire team. However, this was not the case. While precise figures remain undisclosed, on the eve of the inaugural Las Vegas Grand Prix, Aston Martin clarified that Arctos Partners had acquired a minority shareholding in AMR Holdings GP Ltd, the team's holding company. This transaction mirrors the model adopted by Alpine, who sold a 24% stake in their F1 team to a consortium including actors and Wrexham AFC owners Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhenney. Arctos Partners is joining forces to bring fresh expertise to the team and explore potential sponsorship opportunities. Aston Martin managing director Jeff Slack reassured, Lawrence is fully committed, he's not stepping away, it's not just about the team, he has a significant involvement with Aston Martin Lagonda, a crucial aspect of his life. The team serves as the marketing platform for Aston Martin Lagonda. The Stroll family remains steadfast. While Alpha Tauri adopts a somewhat underwhelming new name and Alpha Romeo undergoes rebranding, the question looms over Logan Sargent's future. Will he continue with the team amidst these changes, or could Williams opt for a switch in the off-season? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and until next time, drive safely. Goodbye for now.